hundred percent sure it's the same guy, dude. It has to be, cause like, I was like, I thought he was playing Resident Evil, and I look over and it's not. It's it's, it sounds exactly like Chris Redfield, but it is the same guy, that's Sonic. I will tell you that. I do know that. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, anytime you get like you get an anime or like anime-ish games, yeah. There's like five. There's five voice actors that do everything. Yep. Yep. Anyway, enough about voice actors. We've got Yanni. We've got One Eye or Not from Tri City. Yeah, so honestly, dude, I think it's fun to watch Bowser Jr. Uh, yeah, I agree. Because a lot of it is all just like tech chases and frame traps. Um, and again, best basketballing. That's another part of it. But uh, Corin, you know, you got probably the best del uh, best disjoint there next to Clouds. I oh, this is actually losers. Oh, for real? Uh, no, no, no. That Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's not losers. I was gonna say, yeah, wait, wait. It should be a. Uh, yeah, I forgot, the, I forgot the Brackos, where the pools are split like that. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, Yanni's taken 7% so far. So, Bowser Jr. is one of those characters, if you don't know the matchup, you are going to get run over. Quite oh, yeah. literally. There are a couple characters like that. There's, yep. He's got a lot of punishable opportunities, but a lot of those Bowser Jr.'s are going to make you look... They, they want to throw themselves into, opportunities, or into situations where they look punishable. But they're not. But they're not, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a Pac-Man. Pac-Man does the same thing. Oh, absolutely. They're very similar characters, kind of. Yeah, I can see that, actually. Bowser Jr., I think, is a little bit un less unfortunate than Pac-Man, but depends on who's playing it. Dude, but yeah, Nebula makes Pac-Man look top tier. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but then you, when you realize how difficult it is to set things up like he's doing. Oh, yeah, it takes, like, his entire mental power to do it. But anyway. So one Iron Knot, he's definitely bringing back some damage here. That is... No. That, that, okay, that's the tricky part about this character. That's going to kill him. No, nope. no, I didn't get it. Smash well. And platform dragging him away. You know, when you get that when you get that jab and you land it, I'm pretty sure... Oh, fair, wow. Yeah. going to get this back. When you land that jab, by the way, at zero, I think it does, like, 23. That's a lot of damage. It does, it does a ton of damage. Yeah. One Iron Knot is still, still doing all right. No, it's definitely not out of his hands at all. corin has got a lot of options to kill early. Uh, in fact, I mean, I can't really see him throwing out a counter against this character right now, but he's definitely, like, taking kind of, like, a more lax approach to Bowser Jr. He knows that he's going to he's gonna try to approach him, you know, and he's going get, to get free damage like that. Right, for uh, sure. I don't know if he's, like, waiting to set, to set up a situation for up air or if he's waiting to set up a situation for grab. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, a grab probably won't kill at this point. No, Bowser no, definitely not. Yeah, Bowser really is heavy. pretty heavy, um, especially when you hit on the cart. Ooh, that was a good catch on the, the ledge jump there. A lot of shield damage. Ooh, almost got the instant in there. Yeah, Bowser Jr. Um, in chicken nugget mode, as I've heard it referred recently, <laughs> um, is has a lot of aerial drift. Dude. Oh, did that get that killed? Ram and Ham killing 120% rage on Yanni. I go for that a lot. Like if I ever get this character in randoms, I can never hit that up B. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I, the hammer? Do you have to like jump or like, like I don't, I don't, I've I don't know. Do, do you have to like, do you have to throw? Like I always use the C stick to do it, and I'm like, but they're behind me, I never hit them. Do you press the A button to do it, or like I don't know the best way to do it. Like, I don't, I don't know anything but about it. But the Bowser Junior man's are always hitting it, like every time. But yeah. So Yanni, with the with the newest PR season, some people getting PR'd. Um, I'd say that Yanni is probably one of the strongest unranked players in Michigan right now. He's been doing really, really well. He's been top aiding Smash Fields pretty consistently lately. Um, he is very, very solid. I would not be surprised to see him PR soon, for sure. I can definitely um, see that. Yeah, so just doesn't quite get the, the instant pin follow up off of the down air, but still pretty even percents. Yeah, I think a lot of this, um, One Iron Knot's got pretty good neutral, he's handling things well, but I just don't think he's familiar with the matchup, to be honest. Um, yeah. But that's not surprising, there's no Bowser Jr. Like, Bowser Jr., there's a lot of Bowser Juniors in Michigan for, like, relative to the world, but, it's, like... It's kind of weird that there are, yeah. There's still only, like, a handful of them. So, like, if you don't practice with one of them, then you don't really... You don't really know what's going on. Oh, yeah, that was, was good. Was, I, was, I, was, I had a feeling he was looking for that punish. Yeah, I knew I knew he needed to, um, and he definitely also saw that. Ooh, that's a lot of shield pressure. It's smart to keep sh holding a shield there, though. Yeah, unless unless it's way off to the side and you can roll away, like you you got a shield there. Oh wow! I, say, I think that was I think that was improper DI. That was that was bad. No, that was straight to the side DI. 
He was trying to, I think he was trying to avoid a follow-up and got, got the combo DI. Definitely, when you're at that percentage, uh, much more likely your opponent is DIing away from you. Yep. So he took a stock. He's still got a tiny lead. Let's see what he can do with it. I really do like this patience, though. This patience is like, compared to the last game, oh yeah, he didn't, I don't think he meant to be reverse that. But compared to the last game, his patience has just been twofold. He's kind of waiting for, for Yanni to do his, own, to do his thing. Uh, Corrin can punish literally any option that uh, Bowser Jr. has. I don't really think it's the other way around. Um, so there's really only a few options that Bowser Jr. will pull off uh, effectively like that. Yeah. If, uh, especially if... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I think he was looking for the hammer there. Yeah, we had the... He had the shield up. He actually power shielded the first hit of the cart blowing up, but not the second one. Oh, okay. that was unfortunate. Got a got a good conversion, but then like ran right into Mega Koopa. Loki, I feel like this is one of those matches that's kind of hard to commentate because I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. I've, yeah, I have I've no, no idea, idea what what Yanni's actually looking for right now. Uh, okay, well, yeah. Looking for that. Was that Cart and Uppy? Yeah, yeah. yeah Cart and Uppy. Cup, Cart, Uppy, Hammer. If you think Yanni's actually looking for something, you're doing it wrong. Oh, uh, maybe. Just can't throw in options. Oh, that's all Yanni does. <laughs>